Okay, uh, coming off a big uh, road victory uh, where we faced some major adversity, real happy with the way our team responded, our coaches responded. Uh, to come home, you know, from Ole Miss with a with a road victory was really big. Uh, turned our attention to Vanderbilt uh, now. A uh, very good team, a very disciplined team. Uh, they lead the league in turnover margin. They protect the football. Um, they're one of the best in penalties. They don't beat theirself. They make you earn it. Uh, defensively, uh, in our league play, 15 points a game, uh, which is very impressive. They got a lot of guys back from last year. Uh, they play extremely hard. They play extremely physical. Uh, they don't give up a whole lot of big plays, which really stands out to me. Offensively, it starts with the running back, Ralph Webb, one of the better offensive players in our league. Um, I believe he leads our league in all-purpose yards, which is really something because most uh, defenses really focus, in, uh, focus in on him. Um, you know, they beat beat it, beat Georgia at Georgia. Uh, they played Florida down to the very end. Uh, very good football team. They have our full attention. Um, it's an early kick. We're going to have to be uh, awake and ready to go. But uh, very good football team, and they have our full attention. Questions? Yeah, you know, there's probably a little bit of that. You know, uh, we recruited him. You know, he's a running back in high school, and we thought he was a, a very good running back. Well, last year we had a lot of running back depth. Um, so to get him on the field, we played H back, which he was very physical, did a very good job uh, with that. We moved him in spring uh, to tailback, and you could tell he picked right off to where he left off in um, high school. And we knew in, in the spring that he had a chance to be a, a good running back. And, you know he's still learning as he goes, but uh, you know he's a he's a real weapon right now. He's running really hard. Uh, he's protecting the football. Um, you know he's getting more and more comfortable um, the more he plays. Coach, as you look back over this this run, is, is there a particular moment where you feel like it just started clicking for the offense? You know, um, you know we played well offensively against Arkansas State, um, and then. We moved the ball well against a very good LSU team. We, we had to kick too many field goals, but we moved the ball. So probably LSU was the first time that, you know, hey, we got a chance if we just figure out a way to get the ball in the red zone. And, um, you know, if you really look back, I mean, we had very few guys that started from last year. We got a bunch of new guys, a bunch of freshmen, red shirt freshmen. So, you know, they grew. They kept uh, fighting. Um, Sean started getting more comfortable. And people around him started being in the spots they needed to be. And we were able to run the football. Our line kind of came together. Our running backs started feeling more comfortable. So I think it was just a process. But probably LSU game, you you look back, you say, well, we can move the ball against a good defense. And that's probably when it really started, uh, you know, to start thinking that way. Yeah, I mean, anytime you have strengths, you know, uh, the defense is going to have to do some things to stop it. And if you can do one thing off of that strength to open open it up, then you kind of go back to your strength. So, you know, there's a little bit to be said for that. But, uh, you know, tendencies, good offenses do have tendencies. Um, and that, that's a good thing. But you've also got to use uh, the tendencies against uh, the defense. Yes, we've heard a lot about Sean and the competitive fire and those kind of things. But... Saturday, I mean, the, the third down runs, the, the plays he made, how much did you see him grow up even more on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, he, uh, he, he played an outstanding game. You know, the third and 13 was unbelievably huge. He sacrificed his body and found a way. And then it was a third and six or third and five early in the game. He found a way to get a first down when they were played man coverage. So, you know, that's a start. And he's starting to, to really evolve as a, as a – uh, as a quarterback in this league and really starting to establish himself as a, a really good quarterback in this league. And, you know, he, he played very well the other night. Making plays like that, how, how important is that for a team to see their quarterback? Oh, yeah. He's a tough guy. And, you know, the, the team had respect for him, you know, already because he's a tough guy. 
But now he's starting to become more of a run threat. You know, you look at the zone read where they brought two off the edge right there, and he put his hand down and ended up making a, a positive play out of a negative play situation. So, you know, he's starting to, to do the little things that uh, a good quarterback in this league does. But, but our, uh, you know, his teammates and his coaches have respect for his toughness, and that's kind of been all along. Last year he played – uh, when he probably shouldn't have played, but that's just his competitive uh, fire. Gus, what is Tom Davis' biggest limiting factor right now at the same time? Well, it's just experience. I mean, he still made a big third down catch the other night. Um, you know, we tried to throw it deep to him. I mean, he's he's doing a good job. He's a freshman, and uh, but he's a talented freshman. Uh, he's growing. He's competing, and uh, we're very happy with him. Yeah. When, when you have a guy setting himself like that in the ground game, is that going to get intimidated for another? For I think so. Yeah, we we got to get him some media training also, you know. <laughs> but, but, we're, but we're working on that, aren't we, Kirk? And uh, But, hey, he's a, he's a super person, first of all, a fine young man. Uh, he's running so physical. Um, and, you know, he does look look people up. You know, I told him it's okay every now and then to, to fake you know, and run by him. But he really likes he likes looking them up and running them over. What do you like about Zach Cunningham, 41, on their defense, their linebacker? Yeah, love the way he plays. I mean, Zach Cunningham is one of the better defensive players in our league. Uh, he's very impressive the way he sheds blocks. He comes off blocks and makes plays as good as any linebacker in our league. And he can run. He can really run. He's a, he's a rangy guy. Uh, he's, I mean, they got other good players too now. It's not just him. They got – I got, in my opinion, four or five other really, really good defensive players. Was Zach a guy, I know, I think he was recruited your, when you first got to Auburn. Was he a guy that you looked at when you got the head coaching job? Yeah, a matter of fact, we were recruiting at Arkansas State. And then, of course, you know, we had four weeks to figure out, you know, what we had and what we didn't have. And there was some linebacker commitments already had, and we were trying to hold on to, you know, so, you know, it was kind of one of those things that, um, you know, we did talk to him, but it was it was such a tough turnaround with the new staff and everything. He's a great player. If you talk to the, a lot of the fans are already looking ahead, they're thinking, big picture, we can win the SEC, the Iron Bowl and all that. Is it is it easy or hard for you guys to get your guys when those things are possibly out there to focus? Yeah, we, we don't. The we, 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 only thing we've talked about is Vanderbilt. we got our hands full. We don't, we don't. Hypotheticals in this league, if you look ahead in this league, you get burned. And we got our hands full. And uh, our players know that, our coaches know it, and we've not said one word about anything left in the schedule. So, you know, I don't know what everybody else is saying, but in this, in our house, in our little little room here with our coaches and players, we're locked in on Vanderbilt. That's it, 100%. Coach Derek Mason, he came in as a defensive guy at Vandy. What do you, what, what do you see in the, the way they play on that side of the ball that's maybe a reflection of, of who he is? Yeah, well, he's a very good football coach. Um, he's a very good defensive coach, and you can see the way his team plays. I mean, they're they're tough guys. They play extremely hard. Uh, they play team defense. That's what really stands out to me. I mean, they 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 fly to the ball. They tackle well. They play physical, especially at the line of scrimmage. And uh, you know, you look at their big plays, big play run cutups. There's not a whole lot of them. I mean, they do a super job with their run fits and. I said when you when you look at the stat that the points in conference play in our conference fifteen points this time of year, I mean they're a real defense. We haven't talked a lot about Robert Webb. Just what kind of season is he having? And there's some websites out there that are saying that he's the best lineman maybe on the team grading out. Yeah, Robert's playing very physical. Um, you know, Robert came on last year. You know, he did our unbalanced, played some tight end. He blocked extremely well at the point of attack. And, you know, he's really emerged as, uh, you know, one of our top guys. He's pass protected extremely well, uh, running behind him, running to him. I mean, he's just – he's been one of those consistent guys that he's playing his best football. You know, he's a senior. He's uh, had a role up to this season, really establishing him, himself as one of our better offensive players. I'm not telling. There's a reason, but I'm, I'm not going to tell everybody. It's been about a month since Malik had his knee surgery. 
Yeah, uh, he's actually uh, jogging now, I think, this week, and, and uh, he's trying to, to get healthy. Um, you know, but I think, put it this way, uh, it's going really well, his, his progression, and he's, uh, he's worked extremely hard. Just what about Paul James? Any update on him? Uh, Paul James is rehabbing. You know, we're hoping to get him back for spring practice is what we're hoping. Yeah. You're, you're, you got to sit him. You had a chance to sit him. Yeah. You're that help you in the yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, he tried to practice last week, and I think it was Tuesday, and we had to pull him out of practice. I mean, he was hurting pretty good, and we were hoping maybe Thursday he'd feel better. He didn't feel a whole lot better. That's a tough injury. And so this week we're hoping uh, to get him back, and uh, we'll see today, you know, in practice, let him move around, see how he's doing. Obviously, he's been one of our impact players in the receiving crew in the passing game. So. It'd be nice to, to have him back. Um, I'll, I'll know more after today. Kind of What's that? Is it kind of the same deal with Trey Williams? Yeah, it is. You know, here's what I mean. Everybody's going to practice today, so if everybody practices today, it's usually a good sign. I mean, we'll see once they move around. But you know, this time of year, if you know if somebody doesn't practice on Tuesday, sometimes that's a little bit of a challenge. But we'll see. How did you? Yeah, he's starting to get back in the groove. Um, you know, he's played, you know, half quarterback, half receiver, and did a really good job at receiver the other night. And we'll, you'll see him on the field more uh, and more the rest of the season. And did a good job on specials when he got in there too. I'm curious, I don't know if you saw the South Carolina's win over the weekend with Coach Muschamp. You know, he paid attention to that. Is it? I know he's here with you last year. Does that matter? You know, do you? Enjoy seeing him win games like that, or is that it worked out for you guys too with bringing Kevin Steele here? But yeah. is that kind of good to see your former? Yeah, yeah. They got we got Bobby Bentley on staff. You know, he's one of my good friends. I'm rooting for him, and you know, his son Jake is, you know. So I was I was definitely happy for for uh, for them.